Hello guys. Welcome to Diablo the Primordial. This video is the continuation video after join Ingrasha Academy. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start please like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates. This is extremely bothersome. Even if you were to talk about being a senpai and what not, it doesn't matter to me as I am not even a student yet. Besides, I couldn't care less if you are a fourth year student or whatever. I don't plan on giving up this seat so you better get lost. To my reply, Rosari began shaking in anger. And then left, saying, you will regret this and giving me a scornful glance. The general age at which students get enrolled to the academies is around 15, when the body is complete, it is normal to increase one's fundamental academic skills at a near educational institute until then. There's an admission exam, so if one can pass that, they can enter the academy. The highest grade is the sixth year grade so one would have quite the merit if they are in the fourth year. And so it's not like I don't understand why she was being so pompous but I can't accept the attitude of looking down on others. Oh ho, you can sure talk. That noble, and now that woman and her meaningless pompousness, is the academy really okay? Ah ha ha ha. Well, it does hurt when you say it like that. I mean, you are considered an elite if you graduate from the academy, right? And so the people who rank high in results tend to be very arrogant. She isn't a bad kid. Hmm, I guess that needs to be fixed as well. Eh? Nothing. I aborted the conversation to dodge the topic. These kids are like problem children themselves. Who knows what kind of problems my Tempest Development of Human Resources Academy is facing. It's a relief that that red-haired student had his ideals right, but it is also a concern because he is being too docile. However, since there are some discriminating even among the teachers, this is a huge problem. If there are students and teachers like these all over the academy, I can't help but think there's someone intently wanting me to know about this so that I can eliminate the corruption. Right, for example, A. It is true that I doubted this might be one of CL's scheme but she went and dodged the question before I even asked. But, I too am learning. Judging from how she said that, she isn't denying it. I didn't do it she isn't declaring that. That was the moment I started doubting Seal-san even more. Eh? You had a right to remain silent? That's the first I am hearing of it. Well, that's fine. I do feel like that itself is like an answer. Besides, this isn't something I can neglect. Well, then? Well, yeah, it seems like I might need to take some drastic measures. Then, is there an unpopulated island on this flight route? with a lower level of danger, if possible. Lower class demon lord seed? That's danger level low, or so I thought but it seems like Seal San is also annoyed by the student's attitude. I guess it's fine, it's a bother, so that island will do. I thought of a plan to give the pep talk. Arrogant people who can't rid their noble-like feeling. Overconfident youngsters. Even with a sense of justice, too docile youngsters. There's a problem with every one of them, the teacher is out of the question as his disposal is confirmed but I would like to believe that the students can be rectified. And for that, I guess I will ask for cooperation from the person who probably knows my situation at the moment, and while I am at it, might as drag in the idle ones. And like that, I got to know of the inside situation of the academy and decided on going forward with a plan to improve it. 10 days until the forum. The question is, whether I will be able to rectify these guys without letting them find out who I am. Looks like first time in a while, it's time for the teacher part of me to take the stage. While thinking of a plan to reform these distorted students, I was feeling excited. And then, I contacted the only person who knew about my movement. Chapter 259. After pondering for a while, Diablo set out without hesitation. He hurried towards someone who certainly knew about Rimuru's whereabouts. And the place Diablo arrived at was the information control room in other words, Soy's room. As Diablo knocked, Soka answered the door and asked what business he had. Kufufufu, I have something to request of Soy Dono, I want you to convey the message. Soy Sama is currently busy, please come again later. Soka went and rejected his request straight out. However, Diablo wouldn't give up just like that. Now, now, don't say that, or what is it, you plan on getting rid of me by force. Diablo enforced overwhelming intimidation while still having a smile on his face. Soka tried to endure it even while biting into her lips and making a grim face but, stop it Diablo. If you want to come in, just come in. As a reposing voice came from inside, the tense air was also lifted. Yes, then I shall intrude. 
And like that, as if that was the natural procedure of things, Diablo casually went in and sat down on a sofa with an air of composure. As Diablo relaxed, a demon chevalier appeared out of nowhere and began serving on the table. Seeing all these with a side glance, Soy coldly asked. What do you want? Diablo did not answer immediately he first took a sip of the black tea the demon chevalier prepared. And then, he surveyed the room. Hmm. Now then, judging from his subordinates, Soka's actions, it seemed like he was having some sort of a conversation with Rimuru-sama just now but. Soy is tight-lipped. There was no way Diablo would get an answer if he asked normally. However, he tried going head on this time on purpose. Diablo decided on that after thinking a bit. Kufufufu. It's simple. Where is Rimuru-sama at the moment? What are you talking about? Shuna and Shian are with him. Surely you jest. If it's you you probably know where the real Rimuru-sama is, don't you? As Diablo went silent after saying that, Soi also looked at Diablo head on and went silent. And at that moment, both of their calculations mixed. As for Diablo, he planned on following around Soi wherever he went. As long as Soi doesn't confess, he just had to follow Soi around. And Soi had accurately read Diablo's thoughts and instantly came to the conclusion that that would prove to be an obstacle to what he was going to do now. However, it would be difficult to say the least to get rid of Diablo and he isn't someone Soi can deceive easily either. I don't think I need to say this out loud but, you do understand that I won't leave you until you answer me, right? Thought so. You won't believe me if I said I didn't know, would you? Of course I wouldn't. There's no way you, who is connected to Rimuru-sama physically to always be able to have contact, doesn't know of his location, right? Diablo answered with a smile. And in fact, Soy indeed was the only one who had a physical connection to Rimuru among other connection methods so that he can make contact if by chance things were to go wrong. And that physical connection method was a connection formed with sticky steel string and shadow space. It is an application of the string telephone method but with this, it is possible to convey thoughts even faster than normal conversation with the help of complicated encrypted transmission. As there are some beings who can trace communication between the subordinates who use thought transmission, they came up with this analog method. It is something Rimuru came up with in case of the worst case scenario but Soi was supposed to be the only one who knew about it. How do you know of it? Soi was menacing. In response to that, Diablo was still composed but unusually enough, he laid bare his emotions, and in his beautiful face, he deepened the devil-like smile. Kufufufu. So it really exists? I had thought Rimuru-sama would come up with something like that. I didn't feel the need for it till now so I didn't bother but the situation calls for it now so I had to confirm it. He got me was what Soi thought. To fall for a leading question an unlikely miss for Soi. However, it wasn't just a miss on Soi's part, it was also the result of Diablo's skillful thought guidance. Soi wouldn't have fallen for it under normal circumstances but the situation was different this time. Soy was in no situation to have a prolonged conversation with Diablo he needed to act immediately. As such, he fell for it due to a slight impatience. Soy clicked his tongue and sunk in his chair. You will have to cooperate as well then, is that fine? Yes, of course. Soy asked Diablo with a sour expression, to which Diablo replied with a satisfied nod. And like this, Diablo and Soy began to cooperate and move accordingly. Giving up on trying to evade Diablo, Soy decided to insert him into the plan. Come in. As soon as Diablo accepted, Soy called out to the next room as they didn't have much time. Ha ha ha, Soy San still has ways to go, huh? Being completely trapped by Diablo San like that. Don't go provoking him like that, alright? I would even probably throw up if Diablo Sama were to intimidate me. Being called in, two beings walked in. A man, having a laugh at Soy's mistake, and a young lady, deeming it inevitable. It was Laplace and Tear. Shut up. Diablo joining was also part of the plan. We don't have time. Let's get this program together. Soy casually made it so that it looks like he didn't make a mistake and Diablo joining in was part of the plan from the start. What? Soy-san, glossing over your mistake like, Soy-sama said, shut up, didn't you hear? Soka said, holding a kanai to Laplace's neck. Laplace, now having cold sweat, laughed and closed his mouth. Completely ignoring all that, Soy began explaining. It is true, as you have predicted, I have received a secret mission from Rimuru-sama. And that mission is... Soy told Diablo everything about the mission he received from Rimuru without hiding anything. He was thinking that he would need reliable pawns either way. 
The most important part of the mission was to not let Xi'an, Shuna, and even Milam know of his whereabouts or his movements. Although Xi'an and Shuna were already distracted by the body he left behind, Milam might come down from the sky to play like she does sometimes. Soi explained that Rimuru was worrying that if Milam was to find out about this when she comes, she might spoil everything. Well, if it's that Milam Sama, if she were to know that we are hiding something. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my other videos, then please watch them. The links are in the description. And don't forgot to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.